McDonald and you're joining us back at the IFX Expo Cyprus. Here with us now in the Dukaskopi TV booth is Steve Janic of AMIFX. Steve, thank you very much for joining us. Now, first off, what makes AMIFX different? How do you position yourself against your competitors? Well, different than an ECN, we are an all bank liquidity provider. So all we do is aggregate bank prices, roughly uh, 12 of the largest tier one banks in the world. And different than most other LPs or other uh, ECNs which have bank and non-bank liquidity, we are an all bank liquidity provider. That's really what separates us from most of the other um, LPs in the business. Looking back at the last year then, how has your company evolved? What were the main challenges? And also looking ahead to 2013, 2014, what will those challenges continue to be? Well, I think we've all um, faced regulatory challenges in, in the business, and I think that's where the future is, is really the regulatory environment has now gone global. So I think places like Cyprus, other areas around the world like New Zealand that are, that are capturing current exposure in the market, I, th I think what we're going to see is, is continuous regulation. We've also seen tremendous volatility in the market over the past six months. So I think volumes across the board with most FX firms has grown and we ourselves have seen a, a tremendous growth in the market. What are your thoughts on transparency within the FX world? Are we moving to an exchange model? Will all brokers be ECN, as, as you've already mentioned, with just one data feed? Or will some be sticking with the OTC model? And, and if so, then why? I, I think it, you're going to have a combination. So I don't think that we'll be able to go in a, an overall exchange-based model. Um, it's an OTC product, and I think you can see that it's going to stay an OTC-based product. But I do believe that, you're, you're, which we are finding in the space, is the transparency in pricing has become very important to the end user and the client. They really understand that they need to see the transparency. Firms like ourselves, who are an all DMA business, which is direct market access, we give them 100% transparency. And really what separates us from most of the other brokers is not only the transparency that we give them, but it is also the low rejection rate that we offer, sub 1%, which is tremendous in the market space. So our clients like the ability to be able to get their orders off, to get them off at a good price, and know that there's a bank or, or a big LP on the other side that's taking that order. So future strategy then, new products, geographical expansion? We are uh, expanding geographically. We're actually um, going to have an ASIC license uh, moving forward. So we do see that there are areas around the world where we're capturing um, good market share. And I think what you'll see is that we will enter those spaces with the local office. And lastly, possibly the most important question really to our viewers, what are the best trading conditions that you're able to offer to your client? We offer what's called the DMA feed, which is direct market access. To us, the ability to offer low spreads, low pricing to our clients and great execution is really what's gonna drive this market and we've all seen it moving forward. And as the customer gets sharper and smarter and looks for tighter spreads, and they look for that transparency, they're gonna find firms like ours are able to deliver. Steve, thank you very much. Steve Janich there of AMIFX. That's all for now, but do stay tuned for more exclusive interviews. Goodbye for now.